so we should be almost done with this, I would think. Okay, so we're done talking to him. We now need to hack in. Well, don't hack into his computer. Use his stuff to get access to his computer because he just gave us stuff. Description routine. We don't need to do that. Upload the virus. Now flying. Holometry. Uh, whatever. Upload subsystem. Return to Estelle. Data packets have been transferred to the uh, Genodyne mainframe. Please allow approximately 13 to 20 seconds for the data to full full integrate with the system. Fully integrate. Click inboxes. According to last bunch of budget reports, you spent over 10,000 credits and have nothing to show at the review. This has to stop. For the last two years, you've been promising some kind of breakthrough, yet you have absolutely nothing to show for your supported supposed efforts. I've spoken to Mr. Harada, and we're both very disappointed, but willing to give you another chance. You need to bring us something tangible, says um, Ayumi. Grayson, uh, we've had to pull storage cell 04 offline again today for a full diagnostic. According to our figures, it's reporting only a 93% efficiency rating, which indicates that it's slowly but surely in the process of degradation. You must uh, get the budget to fix these aging power cells, or in a new years, or in a few years' time, we could be looking at a total plant shutdown. Wonderful. As per your request, here's the status of our current active experiments. Failed, ongoing, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Emergency exit from your office has been completed as per your specifications. The lift should bring you directly to the surface and can be easily accessed using the standard elevated call system. The cost has been deducted from your personal account as requested. Please let me know if you have any issues with the product. I'm guessing that's how we're getting out. So anything interesting here that we should be looking for? Borrowing? Liberating? Steering it, stealing anything. Repairing mo immobilizer. Sure. Gauge, touch of fluorides, and fiber. I don't think we need. We make our own fiber. Okay, looks like we're going out. Floor access restricted, but. I guess we don't go there yet is really what it is. You people are creepy. kept you. I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne's system. No idea what you're talking about. If you know why I'm here, then you know what's at stake. I have no clue what you're talking about. If you're so smart, then you figure it out. Oh, I will with or without your help. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's all? That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Gonna deal with the fleet will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. You know I'm part of the Crimson Fleet, then you know we mean business. Why do you care if the Crimson Fleet steals Genodyne's ass secrets? Can they deal with the fleet be cheaper than paying to remove the virus? Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done 
with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. And that's what pirates do. But that's not how I do business. <laughs> your methods are, uh, are no different than ours. Your arrogance is astounding. That's why you shouldn't interfere. Your arrogance is astounding. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Um, it was me. It was, uh, Brayson. It was Estelle. Perhaps we can come to a financial arrangement instead. My dear friend, you couldn't possibly offer me enough money to offset the embarrassment that this has caused. Oh, I think you misunderstand what I meant. Just have to I meant him pay me. Source. That's not actually what that... I actually wanted him to pay me. It was me. Really? That's the story you're going with. Very well. There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. Oh no. I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. I'm slightly disappointed with that little interaction. I was kind of hoping to make some money off of it. Oh well. Astral sliders. Hey, these. I was gonna say. Stop now. Oops. Oops. Freeze. Is that all you can Neon say? Security. That was really poorly done. Uh, stolen items are confiscated. I'll pay the fine. Smart move. Now come along with us. What? Take no. Contraband and stolen property, and you'll be free to go. How much armor, uh, ammo did I miss or leave? It's a lot of stuff that's being removed. That's not acceptable. Yeah, that's, um, that's not acceptable. We may have to do that. Though. Yeah, we have to do that conversation again. Holy crap, we're... Damn. Shit. Oh well. I did not quick save fast enough. Yeah. Ah, it was just long conversations. It's all. obvious you're here to meet. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Insane. No clue what you're talking about. I'm so smart. Uh, if you're so smart, you figure it oh, out. I will, with or without your. You just know, take it back out of the stolen items. Give credit where that's the last time. But they still owe me money. Can uh, deal with the fleet. Probably. It's because I no. Arrogance this stuff. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not. All you have to do is. It's me. It was Brayson. It was Estelle. Perhaps we can come to it now. We're going. What will happen to them? You don't have to worry about that in the least. You point me to our little mole, and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Hey, Leon, welcome back. Mm. It was me. Really? That there's a body that I'd say you have a so. Oh, so I'm being framed for murder, but that's okay. So now we know I didn't realize this was stolen stuff. I don't pay attention to little red icons as I really should. I need to be better at stealing, it's really what it is. It's not stealing, though, it's borrowing. You're in the vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Yeah, weirdos. Mission board. Who? Help me. 
options there. Yeah, that's to get rid of your uh, any bounties you might have on your head. Comfort. Well, I'm grand. It's seven pounds right there. No, oh, looks like it's you that's going away. Someone gets a free spaceship. So, what's he doing? Oh, yeah, Madam Savage. You're in the right place, baby. Everyone. Hey, she moved. If I want you, what's she doing in here? Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. He doesn't scare me. He's pretty terrifying. I handle the situation. What happened at the lounge? Well, I was hoping we'd celebrate your return with some drinks and a pile of Aurora. I was about to start partying early when Boone Morgan tipped me off that Bayou was on his way down with some neon security goons. I'm pretty sure I missed him by less than a minute. Left a ton of good stuff behind, damn it. I handle the situation. So I've heard. Throwing yourself under the bus like that. Ouch. You are one crazy son of a bitch. Yes, I think I'm done here. I got what I needed, but I'm sorry you didn't. This was the Crimson Fleet, so it benefits us all. That might help you sleep at night, but doesn't do me a hell of a lot of good. But it should. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. You knew the risk. When I get back to the key, maybe I'll put in a word with Delgado. Let me cut you in for some credits to cover your expenses. Delgado. That's pretty cool of you to offer, but I know what he's gonna say. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me, he's not gonna be much help. <laughs> Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. I could do that. That's kind of a big ass. No, we all have our problems to deal with. I suppose I could do that. I appreciate that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? Uh -huh. How much uh, are you willing to part with? That's all I can afford. Uh, two is all I can afford. Well, it's a bit less than I was hoping for, but thanks all the same. At least you gave a crap enough to cut me in at all. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send him to talk to me. Do you believe Crix's legacy really exists? Now, how did I know you were going to ask me that? Honestly, it doesn't matter if I believe that Crix's legacy exists or not. What's important is that I believe in Delgado. If the man thinks that chasing shadows is going to make us rich, then who the hell am I to judge, right? I mean, I'm not going to jump off a cliff for him or anything, but hey, he needs an extra ship at his side. He's got it. So what's next for you, Estelle? I hear things are heating up back at the key, so I might fire up my bird and head over to check things out. 
Rumor has it that Delgado has some solid info on the Crix's legacy story he's been hawking for the last few years. If there's even a chance that it's true, I want to be there when Shinya Voss starts splitting the loot, if you catch my meaning. Bitter by completely ruin your plans or reuse the virus. Completely ruin? Nah. I was hoping it would stay on Jennerdine's mainframe for the long term, but hey, at least it's already fed me a huge amount of data. Nix really knows what he's doing, though he charged me about six months worth of earnings. With any luck, I'll be able to recoup my costs in no time. Tell Neva she still owes me a drink for our poker game. No problem. Can I get you something? Nope. I'm good. What's up? Love your fit. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. That side's a bad one. I've got so many quests to do in this at Neon still. <laughs> or missions, whatever you want to call them. I think I got them. A lot of these security guards have corns. They might want to do something about that. Like getting better shoes or something. I'll try, I gotta modify this jump pack too. Okay, let's throw stuff in inventory. Like, oh, shit, that's not what I was supposed to do. This is one we normally wear. We'll store this one. That's not as good as we hoped that was going to be. Two kitties want to keep these, don't I? Got to get rid of this. So you wonder what I want to do next. Um, I'll be just posted a Steam new archetypes and Lord of Nothing DLC. Ah, finally. What was I going to do? I was going to do something. We have to get rid of this contraband. That's the real thing. The data mining was correct. Good. Okay, I can go to the den and go sell our contraband that we picked up. So I don't get caught with it. That would be bad. faster. Dun, dun, dun. We're done. 
Egypt. Too so much junk we can't sell here. As in, because I run out of money so fast. What's there? If there's anything I can do for you. Yes, of course. Need those. So he doesn't have any digipacks. So don't need that one. Don't. Pilot spacesuit. This is the one, the spacesuit we got when we stole the ship. Doesn't have them make water, sell water for, for market like on Fallout. Make water, sell water for market. Um, I don't think so. Why would you want to make water? Can you make items? Uh, yes, you can make items. Like you can make, uh, well, it depends what you mean. Making water is the follow-up market trick. Oh. Oh, I don't know if there's any trick. The, the main trick to this is finding enough merchants out there to buy all your junk. Because they have a, only a set amount of credits for you know a certain amount of time period. Like this guy, he only had a little, little over 6,000 credits. He'll get more. You know, we sell the stuff and come back and, you know, whenever, and he'll have, un he'll have money again to, you know, buy more stuff. And it's just a matter of just finding all the, the merchants out there. But I don't know what the magic making stuff is in this. So that's because of stolen stuff we don't get caught with. And this particular market, you know, buys the stuff that, you know, you can't normally sell to legitimate places. This is like, you know, black market or gray market, actually. But good enough. A lot of the stuff is either farmable or you can make it with farmable materials, so... Like, I'd be stinking rich if I actually could find a vendor to buy all my stuff. But, because it, it takes a lot of, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time. It just takes time to go find the different vendors, see where they are. Stash. This is. That's just a glass thing. You don't care about that. Oh, I, I picked this up because I want a fishbowl somewhere inside my base. Take this stuff. No, I'm surprised that's a mission thing. A lot of this stuff is just things we picked up along the way. All the weapons. So the cheap stuff first. And we broke them. As in made them broke. Now there is also another terminal in here that you can sell resources and stuff too. Let me buy. 
Oops. Professionals, uh, refined side star. I don't need that. Yeah, that's it. See, break up so quickly. Okay. okay, so where are we going? The return to the key. Here we go. Can't travel while the ship is docked. Ugh, come on. Only do is hit one button. <laughs> Can't we just automatically hit one button? This is easy. What do you want? All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Someone over cooked a potato in the microwave? When is everyone going to stop calling me a Rook? Dude, I did the job. I deserve the respect. <laughs> respect? That's why you're here? Look around you. The only reason all these losers are here is to earn credits or die trying. When I feel like you've earned it, I'll stop calling you Rook. Right now, we've got a crisis on our hands. You got a crisis. I don't have a crisis. Uh, don't you want to hear what happened to Neon? Hooray! You got the conduction gizmo. You did exactly what we asked you to do. Good work, Pat on the head. Are you ignoring me or something? I just said there's an emergency. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> Eye of the storm. So what happened while I was gone? I'm doing all the heavy lifting. What could possibly have gone wrong here? The fleet protects our own, but you turn against us. And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del really bad shape I i'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat i don't want to hear excuses i want to hear that it's going to be fixed period get it done all right all right i'm on it you want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data here i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> this wasn't easy you know what's this about defensive batteries it's right here. Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Ooh. Oh, that's real funny. 
All right, listen up because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sistef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Is that what you need me to do? Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Key's databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Once your ship is ready, jump out the Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. There's gotta be a catch. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. This is not the only one. You see, has the resources to crack that code. Ah, uh, don't do that. That's gonna... No. Why would I need two transfer modules to open the vault? Because those Galbank ships were carrying so much money, they didn't even trust their own crew. Of course they're bringing it right here. I'm not a traitor. <laughs> Says the traitor. What if Shinya can't break the encryption? That would be a first. I have yet to see encrypted currency that Shinya could not manipulate within hours. I mean, the guy plugs his body directly into his mainframe. He eats, breathes, and shits numbers all day. No, I'm not worried about him. You count on me. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm going to make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. It's the biggest worry regarding the upcoming attack. Who are these captains you keep mentioning? Is there more quick slacks than just the money? What's your biggest worry? The toughest nut to crack is if you see Sistef brings in the vigilance. That Commander Ikande has himself a hell of a ship there. Advanced shield deck, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and Grix's legacy. Some more Grix's legacy and just money. The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal. A principle that Crix sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs on the side, killing each other. Bringing Crix's legacy back to the fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Crix believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course, it wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal. But I think you catch my meaning. Who are these captains you keep mentioning? You've met some of them already. Matis Castillo, Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Kemp. They might feel like independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet. And each one of them wants a cut of the wealth. I am sending word out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. Get moving before it's too late. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have to modify my ship before I go anywhere. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. How will the Comspike module help me find the legacy? The Comspike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Well, the conduction grid module will help me get to the legacy. Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, 
like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield region. <laughs> Lucky you. You can tell me about the defensive batteries. There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. Mind helping me with my ship? Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. I'd like to view and modify my ships. Oh, yeah. Nothing like changing it up to make a ship feel new again. Okay, so, hey, ship builder. I have no idea what I'm looking for here. Some shields. I'm supposed to be looking for here. There we go. So there's a conduction grid. Oh, it doesn't cost any money. Just have to install it. And I can install it where I'm not going to forget where it is. I'm guessing there. Com spike. Can't go there. Over there. I don't know what the hell what this thing is actually supposed to do for us. I'm not sure where I should actually put it. And it can't be flipped, so... Nice if they let us flip it around a little while. I guess it does kind of go upside down there, but it just doesn't fit. And nice to put it right there. Sort of. Bit better up here.
doesn't look silly at all over there, but that's okay. So there's our little conduction grid. Whatever that does exactly, I have no idea. Scan jammers. What does this actually do? Scan jammer single frequency, dual frequency, multi frequency. Oh, this is to allow you to uh, jam the stuff that you're carrying, or prevent them from scanning stuff on that you have. Is that what this does, though? Jammer, is this what this does, though? No, that's a conduction group. That's different. You have the money? We have the money. So put that there. So this basically protects our, uh, our, uh, hold from being scanned, I think. <laughs> I think that's what it's supposed to do. We'll see. What's our warning? Low mobility. Yeah, we don't care. We're good on mobility. Okay. We already did that. Okay. Kind of name is Crimson Fleet. Holy crap. You're not allowed to criticize anybody's names. Crimson Fleet. This storm proceeds to the UC village. Oh, so I'm guessing this is a uh, we meeting with them? Or are we just trying to find them? Could be worse. Could have a name like Taserface. Would that be way worse? I'm not sure that would be worse, Tibor. Could be. That was a quick target lock. Ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? What do you mean? I've been busy doing my job. I thought I'd take a detour on the way back. You know, sightsee a bit. I've been risking my damn life to bring down the fleet. Don't mistake what you're doing as some sort of heroic gesture we're all risking our lives here are you F i received the reports about your little foray into genodyne last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key you see he's finally back in your play there's quite a panic over there I'm sure attacking them is the best course of action good the more confusion and panic we cause the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock Four, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. Delgado gains access to those resources. 
We might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering Hello, allies. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to success. take a break. As Go check on the meet. dogs. You see Sis death won't stand it. Your next break is in the one hour. will become stronger and more unified than ever. Okay, so I'm back to the vigilance. I'm not going to let you down, so no pressure then. I suppose running off the money and keeping it for myself is out of the question. I don't think they're going to appreciate that humor. Move back to the vigilance. I've always known that when it came down to it, you'd do the right thing. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. What happened to Crix's legacy after I ring it to the assist dev? How do you convince CUC to operate an attack? After I bring it to the UC. During the end of the Narion War, the money was destined to bolster the Freestar Collective's corpus. Even though we were rivals at the time, I suppose we still are to some extent. The credits still rightfully belong to their people. After the money is turned over to Mask, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. Oh yeah, right. How did you convince UC to authorize? The evidence you've been bringing to Lieutenant Toft has been instrumental in convincing the brass at Mast to greenlight the attack. They've sent us support ships, extra troops, weapons. All on account of your role in the operation. To put it simply, if it wasn't for you, this operation would be at a standstill. It's a primary directive. Our directive is simple. We are tasked with the eradication of space piracy in the settled systems. As the chief source of pirate activity, the Crimson Fleet is our primary target. Hmm, we didn't have an option to tell them about those stupid uh, gun batteries, did we? It's time to dig deep and get the job done. Has something on your mind? I have evidence. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Cost overruns, siphoning project funds. How deep does this well go? Our forensic accounting team is going to have their hands full. I'll send this to Mass right away. Let's just hope that a few rotten apples within the UC haven't spoiled the entire bunch. Any other fragments? Yep, this is from Genodyne Executive's office. Pretty damning stuff. Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Free Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Genodyne from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC will pay dearly for this. Good job. Find anything else? That's all I have. All right. Keep up the good work. Will you be able to decrypt Crix's legacy once I bring it back to the Vigilance? Even as long ago as the Narian War, Galbank used an extremely potent level of encryption on their currency. Unfortunately, the Unluck ciphers are lost to time. However, if you can bring us one of Galbank's old transfer modules, I know it would help. Don't worry, I'm sure some of the techs at Mass will be able to work with whatever you bring to reverse the encryption. Are you familiar with Key's defenses? Anything you can tell us would be helpful. They're running up uh, as many captains as they can to bulk up their fleet. Yeah, I heard they even sent word to some of the contacts you met. They're writing an awful lot of checks they can't cover without Crix's legacy, but we'll be ready for them. Anything else? Durant is trying to get the key's defensive batteries online. Damn it. I was afraid of that. I'll warn our ships to use looser formations. Hopefully Durand isn't as clever as she thinks she is, or you can help us take the batteries down when the attack begins. Was that all? Yeah, that's it for now. Okay, well, if anything else springs to mind before you leave, please let me know. Okay. See you soon. Okay, so, break time. Right. Head back to the ship and... Take a break. So. <sighs> Dogs. <laughs> see what they're up to. So they're both at the front door still. Okay, so I'm going to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video.